opportunity to show off my unique brand of delightful patter. <laughs> when it comes to being master of ceremonies, I am the master of ceremonies. Yeah, well, I still don't think we needed an MC at last week's blood drive. <laughs> hey, they loved me. I got a standing O. Negative. <laughs> I'm so using that next year. Well, that might be your next performance, because it looks like no one signed up for the talent show. What? I can't be expected to carry the whole show by myself. Do you think I could carry the whole show by myself? I think you might have to cancel it. Cancel it? Never. All these students need is a little incentive. Sign up for the talent show and receive a get-out-of-detention-free pass. Out of my way. Out of my way. Kirby, what are you doing? You don't have detention. Not yet, but I can't let an opportunity like this slip away. Luckily, I'm always prepared. In case of emergency, break glass. <laughs> Kirby, you know I prefer banana cream. Signing up for the talent show, Ago? What did you get detention for? Did you do something naughty? Did you do something naughty? No, I was thinking of doing a song, but I'm too nervous. I mean, the only time I really sing is in the shower. <laughs> well, I imagine you're amazing. <laughs> I mean, your voice, not you in the shower. <laughs> I don't imagine you in the shower. <laughs> or a bubble bath. Or embraced by the sun-kissed spray of a cascading waterfall. <laughs> Really? And you think I should sign up? Absolutely. I'm sure you have the voice of an angel. I mean, an angel that didn't die from a kick to the throat. Okay, I'll do it. Excellent. Four people signed up already. No, that's only two, Mr. Tater. I don't think terrible gas and holding a farton <laughs> go to the school. They transferred? Oh, what a shame. Tara and Holden signed up for everything. Maybe it's not working because not enough people need to get out of detention. Good idea. Well, uh, no, no, I didn't mean that. You, no running in the hallway, detention. <laughs> you with the jaunty pace, detention. <laughs> Miss Young, no texting in school, detention. There's no rule against texting in school. There is now. But I'm not texting now. <laughs> Fine. But if I catch you sending out one ROFL or BRB, you'll be SID. <laughs> Stuck in detention. <laughs> and the only way out will be to sign up for the talent show. Yes, it's a multi-step plan, but it will ultimately lead to me getting exactly what I want. <laughs> and that's why bubbles are round. Derby, why are you late for class? You are not trapped in a box. There is no windstorm in the hallway. You can't just keep coming late. Your dog is very cute, but find a talent on your own time. Now, take your seat. I'm in the middle of demonstrating a complex scientific process. Hey, watch it! Ghostly French version of Derby. <laughs> See if this ghost can walk through walls. Nope. <laughs> what is that awful 
sound. The death rattle of a diseased jungle cat. Possibly an ocelot, but more likely an adolescent puma. <laughs> You nailed it. Oh, I wish I could text Bethany. She thinks she's all that when it comes to differentiating animal sounds. Run for your lives. It's chewing its leg off. Well, then we could probably walk for our lives, since at best it could only limp after us. Fine, walk for your lives. <laughs> So why are you in the janitor's closet? Because the acoustics in here make me sound amazing. <laughs> I'm so glad you convinced me to sign up for the talent show. Uh, are you sure you want to perform in front of everybody? Because there are a lot of judgmental kids in this school. Like the guy who always wears suspenders. Come on, you never heard of a belt? <laughs> well, I don't care what anyone else thinks. Especially when I have the unwavering support of someone like you. Hey, she's right. The acoustics in here are good. Ah, I see you can't stand the texting ban and you're rehearsing your talent for the show. No, I just found an alternative form of long-distance communication. The Papuan drum language of the Melanesian Islands. <laughs> Bethany just made a bald joke about someone else. I love bald jokes about someone else. But I'm afraid the Papuan drum language is banned in school. What about the quasi-poetic rhythms of the Tangu tribe? Also banned. As well as the percussive morphemes of the Nigerian Efik tribe. Hey, don't blame me. This comes directly from the school board. Say to you. Okay, Echo is kind of a sensitive diva, so don't let her know you're giving her lessons. No problemo, bambino. Sergio is as subtle as the oregano in a caprese salad. Hmm. I didn't think there was oregano in caprese salad. <laughs> That's because it's a so subtle. Don't be too subtle. Echo really needs the help. Worry not, cuchola mia. Sergio has trained the voices of talentless pop stars. Throw kick survivors, and even this. That just sounds like a dog barking. I know, but it is a cat. Adam, you wanted to see me? I wanted you to meet Sergio, one of the world's most renowned vocalists. He heard about your unique voice and just had to hear it for himself. Ciao, babe. Oh, I'm a big fan of opera. <laughs> and I like the cheese sandwiches. Why are we talking about opera? <laughs> I just assumed that... Oh, you assumed that because I'm aware of this cape that I'm an opera singer. I sing a scat. Scoobity-bop-bop, doodly-dee-dee, zippity-zoo-ow. Now, let me hear you sing. Okay, here's the chorus of a little something I've been noodling with. I wish I were a butterfly. Fly, fly, fly. Bye, bye, bye. Bravo, bravo. I give you standing ovation. Huh? And now I give you walking ovation. And now. Uh... Wow, the highly coveted running ovation. <laughs> So your talent is to play 12 instruments badly? It would have been 13, but I lent my pop one jump to Ivy. Who dares to butcher Yannick Lazinski's beloved spicy kielbasa polka? Tater. <laughs> He's the one playing 12 instruments badly. Derby. Whoa. Derby? Watch out for the oh. stairs. Derby? I'm fine. Where's your trumpet? 
I don't know. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> hey, Echo, I uh, whipped up some throat spray to help your voice. You think my voice needs help? <laughs> Did I say help? I meant protection because it's so perfect. <laughs> okay. Try singing something. I wish I were a butterfly. Butterfly. How can you tell if this stuff is working? <laughs> my voice. <gasps> Are you trying to change it? What? If you don't like my singing, tell me. I want you to be honest. <sighs> okay, the truth is, Echo, you have the world's most Beautiful voice. Did I just hear you say that Echo has the world's most beautiful voice? I did technically say that. Congratulations. You are the talent show headliner. Thanks, Mr. Tater. You've just made me the happiest girl on earth. <laughs> yes, great gum drops. to Finnegan High Detention, where detention in the room is palpable. I can't sit through this. Hey, this is the one show no one can walk out of. Unless you sign up for the talent show. <laughs> it's for you. Ivy, this is not an acceptable substitute for texting. <laughs> Same to you. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to see will shock and amaze you. Wait, wait. Who's introducing him? Why wasn't I asked to MC this hallway show? <laughs> anyway, what you are about to see will shock and amaze you. Oh, nice cake. Are you gonna scat for us? No, I'm gonna perform jaw-dropping magic. <laughs> now. I'll require the assistance of a beautiful volunteer. Oh, a daring escape? Actually, I put these on to prevent myself from texting. Just sign up already. Never. Now, watch as through the power of magic, I make Ivy disappear. Wait, that didn't go right. No kidding. I look like a dork. Hey, that's my best sweater vest. Oh, no. My hands are free. I can't help myself. Aha, that's detention. Fine, I'll be in your stupid show. <laughs> Worth it. No, I... not so fast. Still have to answer for this. Ta-da! Whoa! Hey, I can't see. Derby, watch out for the... <laughs> stairs! Derby, are you okay? Yeah, amazingly, I'm fine. Where's your magic wand? Oh, don't worry, it's in handkerchief form. At least it was. <laughs> well, I found my talent and I solved your echo problem. Oh, thank you. I was this close to running a helicopter and dropping a bag of snakes on her. <laughs> so what do you got? You just have to make sure she uses this special microphone. Ow! Oh! 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 So your plan was to punch her in the eye? No, of course not. It's supposed to hit her in the throat. <laughs> Now try it again, just this time hold it a little lower. No! Ow! 
But you know, another kind of special microphone could work. An auto-tune mic. It uses a voice modulator to adjust pitch and tone. Oh, I think I have one of those. Let me take this one back and go get it for you. <laughs> Here you go. I wish I were a butterfly. Fly, fly. Hey, Echo. What happened to your eye? That's really gonna mess with your depth perception. I'm fine. Anyway, in honor of your big debut, I got you a present. Someone with a voice like yours doesn't want to use that low-grade AV club junk they've got out there. That's so sweet. Ooh, a hug. <laughs> Did you do something with your hair? Library? More like truth brary. <laughs> hey, you and your cricket choir had your chance. <laughs> Our next performer is the one and only Ivy Young. <laughs> Ivy? You can't just stand there texting. You have to have an actual talent. This is my talent. I'm the world's first texting comic. <laughs> Well, they do seem to like it. That must have been one funny joke. Well, check your phone. Hey, you cannot see the glare from space. <laughs> hey, th there's no need to heckle. Do I come to your job and slap your hairnet into the deep fryer? <laughs> Let me leave you with this. Sometimes I get political. I like to make them think. Thank you, Ivy, for those hilarious LOLs. <laughs> oh, she'll be appearing this Saturday at the Snicker Shack. All proceeds go to the Coalition to Help Throat Kick Casualties, or... <sighs> Up next, Daredevil Extraordinaire Demolition Derby. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what I'm about to do is not for the faint of heart. Do not try this at home. What's going to happen? I have no idea. <laughs> hey, Slab. Quiet. I'm reading. <laughs> From space. <laughs> this is what you get for disturbing me while I'm enjoying comedy gold. Here we go, folks. <laughs> Showtime! <laughs> Whoa! Watch out for those power lines! Oh. I'm okay! I guess the show's over. You can't perform without power. I don't need a microphone to sound great. You don't? I can do an intimate, unplugged performance. That's a great idea. No, it's not. <laughs> Please welcome our headliner, the always effervescent Echo. <laughs> Come on, gather around. That's it, don't be shy. Wish I were cut from a different cloth. Want to be a butterfly? I live, I live in, in a closet, closet in the hall. hall. So, so sad, sad it makes this mud ball. Butterflies have it so much better. 
Gonna drown my sorrows in a cashmere sweater. I wish I were a butterfly drawn to the flame. I die, die, die. I wish I were a butterfly. It burns. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> they loved my duet. So you were lying to me this whole time? Oh, you know? It's pretty obvious. You pretended to be supportive of my singing, but in reality, you were just jealous. Jealous? Of my amazing voice. Especially since yours is so awful. It is? Yeah. I hate to say it, but I have to be honest. I mean, if my voice were terrible, I'd want you to tell me. Your voice is terrible. Oh, you are so jealous. <laughs> and why'd you give this to me? To sabotage me or something? No, what no. What did you even do? Ah!